This is the book Care of the Soul. I'm reading from a book called Care of the Soul. I'll show people um, who's in this picture up here, Dad. What's the picture? Well, can you see an old black and white picture of uh, a woman wearing a fur of some description, I think, or at least a uh, very warm scarf. Who's she? That's a nice little grandmother. Your grandmère. Yes. Why do I say it in French? Well, because she's French. And her name? Madame. Yes? The next bit? Oh, I was counting on you to give me a first name. I know her surname. If I give you the surname, will you tell me the first name? I don't know. Okay. Madame Miss Poulet. Oh, yes. Why did she get a chicken name? Chicken name? Poulet is chicken, isn't it, Dad? Miss Poulet, no, it's... That just... No? Okay, we can't, we can't. Can you give me her first name, my, of my great-grandmother? No. Peter could, couldn't he? Could he? Oh, uh, did you not know that Peter is a bit of a, um... What's the word for Peter? Um... Someone who excavates family trees. I've forgotten the word. Anyhow, what I'm doing here is reading chapter three out. Can you be patient while I read chapter three out, Dad? Why should you read out? Because people need to under understand the difference between what they think narcissism is and what a decent psychologist says narcissism uh, says how useful narcissism is. Self-love and its myth, Narcissus and Narcissism. Mainstream psychology puts a great deal of faith in a strong ego. Ego development and positive self-concept are considered important ingredients of a mature personality. Yet narcissism, the habit of focusing attention on oneself rather than the world of objects and of others, is considered a disorder. Oh, this is too long. Oh. Apparently that's all we've got time for. The next sentence, Jungian psychology with its emphasis on the unconscious and archetypal psychology with its high regard for the non-ego personalities of the psyche give the impression that the ego is a sinner, literalising all over the place and generally making a mess. Even in the analysis of dreams it is tempting to see the ego as always making a mistake. Add religion's long-standing warnings against selfishness and self-love in which pride is considered one of the cardinal sins and it begins to look as though there is a moral conspiracy against the ego.